the boot. Ten. And there's a spring. Hi, I'm John Davis. That slides on and then start the uh, faster. We have an ASE certified MLR training program. That's maintenance and light repair. We instruct the basic maintenance for vehicle service initially, and then we go into greater depth in the vehicle systems. When we first start, the student learns personal and shop safety. It's critical to uh, know how to behave and how to operate safely in the automotive environment. We have student certifications in ASE, and those certifications will uh, get you into the workplace and get you established uh, on a path for career readiness uh, for all eight ASE certifications. What it does is it gives them the advantage of leaving high school to be career ready to move right into a dealership if that's what they want to do or into a smaller operation or a, for vehicle service. It doesn't necessarily have to be a major dealer. It could be a privately owned uh, service as well, but the student will be ready to step into the maintenance field to provide basic automotive service. What we do is we uh, provide a service to our students, our faculty, staff, and administrators. We'll take their vehicles in and we run them through the shop just as if we were a service center, a commercial service center, and we operate the shop just like a business. What we do is we look at the automotive industry. We look at the history of the automotive industry. We look at the current technology. We look at the uh, tooling. We look at the diagnostics and then how we apply service. It is a career path that is not meant for everyone. You have to have some uh, interest in this area. So mechanical abilities are a plus but not necessarily mandatory because not everyone wants to turn wrenches. Some people want to go into other aspects. The career path for automotive is very wide. We're, we have service, we have sales, parts, and certainly you can go on to a higher uh, educational level and uh, work towards engineering. You could be an automotive engineer. Well, there's no requirements in the middle school, but once you come to the high school, if you want to be in the automotive program and you're coming in as a freshman, we'd like to have you start out with auto basics. And what that does is it prepares you with all of the, uh, the things that, that would demonstrate your aptitude. So we do measurements, we do tools, we look at the body of the vehicle, we look at the frame, what components make up body and frame? What are the eight subsystems in the automotive uh, application? So uh, we really bring them in from a very uh, basic, fundamental level and bring them right up to the MLR, maintenance and light repair, service-based service. -based service.